Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Drum Brother. We're here today with uh, Adam from uh, Misery Index. What's up? He's on tour right now with uh, Cannibal Corpse and Behemoth and uh, has passed by to say hello and have a nice chat. So Adam, the first question we want to ask you is um, about your foundation. You said that you are completely self-taught. So if a young boy wants to start uh, practicing metal, extreme metal drumming, What's your advice? Uh, well, I've always said you got to learn to to crawl before you can start running a marathon. You know, which a yeah. lot of a lot of guys want to do. They they start out playing and like immediately want to go to get a double bass pedal and they want to learn how to do a gravity blast immediately and it's like speed and all this. But you gotta you gotta build your build your way up. You know, I know it's different times now like from when I grew up but I'm not that old you know but you know I started with you know playing classic rock and slowly did the progression of classic rock to you know learning Metallica to Slayer and then then all of a sudden you just discover the heavier bands like Morbid Angel and you know Malevolent Creation that's when I really started getting into the more extreme stuff. So I'm glad that I did that natural progression of starting out, like learning the basics and, you know, it's good to play along with like even just your typical radio rock bands, you know, cause it's always like really like in the pocket and, mm. you know, just easier to play along with instead of like, okay, I want to, Learn how to play a Flesh God Apocalypse song today. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I've been playing drums for two days. I can play that. You know, you can't. You can't do that. You got to learn the proper techniques. You know, so. So you studied techniques on your own too. Well, I slowly progressed as I got older as well. You know, and that was one thing that I kind of struggled with early on when I started like touring and. So it's yeah. totally different when you get on different stages and different drum kits and you're not used to it. It's just like set up and go and, you know, yeah. that's how it's been on this tour too. So um, it's almost like playing a festival every night. You just got to, you got to know how to prepare yourself and, you know, do the stretches and, you know, I'll even jog sometimes before a, before a set. I'll go on a quick 10 minute jog. Just get your blood flowing, and wow. you're not going up there cold, yeah. and just like Psh. it's intense music, so you can't just be like, <gasps> "All right, guys, ready, let's go." <laughs> <laughs> you, <know. laughs> you have to be ready to warm up. For yes, me. yeah. How did you start to get in contact with bands? How was it like the steps for you to reach this kind of uh, tour level you're in now? Like. It came out like from people calling you, or is there something a guy has, has to do to start playing with bands and get like his own way? Well, there's definitely more ways to establish yourself now with YouTube and everything else. That's like the prime example of how even say like Decapitated found their drummer that way, Kareem. You know he put up videos of him playing the songs and was like, whoa, check this guy out, you know. And, but, you know, that's that's how I got into Misery Index. I just had to shoot a video and put it on, like, VHS and <laughs> mail, it, mail it out to him. But, you know, it's also about, you know, say the band you start with, you know, it's good to get out and play shows and get your get yourself in front of those touring bands so they can, you know, you never know who's watching, you know, even though you're the opening band, you think like, oh, they're not even going to watch us play. Like, I'll, a lot of the times, like, check out the band, you know, just see what's going on city to city, you know. Yeah. And So, YouTube, but even go out there and play. Yeah, that's the most important thing is just getting yourself out there, you know, and putting out a good product and, you know, just writing the good riffs. You know. What about uh, touring life? Like, how's the touring life? You say you were talking about warming up. Mm -hmm. um, how is it to like play this <clears throat> kind of extreme music every night? Like, 
lots of time you don't get the sleep enough and the mm -hmm. day after you have to go f like 260 bpms yeah. anyway so how's that how do you how do you control yourself in that situation how do you well that's definitely uh biggest challenge of touring you know especially in these like really bigger tours and if you're playing in the middle you don't get a sound check or you know you don't have time to like the first day you know i just kind of looked at the drum set and i was like okay that's that's the kit <laughs> that's fine <laughs> yeah just kind of see what we're working with and everything and um yeah it's hard to adjust to the time you know because we fly over you know usually a day before and try and adjust but that's always hard you know so you're say we're playing at seven o'clock in the um, in the um, evening and you just usually at that time is when you just want to fall on your face and go to sleep you're just yeah. like oh you know, like, gotta play right now you know <laughs> so it takes a few days so you just gotta know when to catch up on sleep and eat right and the jet know. lags and that yeah yeah thing. so it's, it's kind of a challenge that too yeah. like. and plus you know you just gotta you just gotta physically prepare yourself even before you leave like like I was saying try and jog or just go to the gym or anything like that you know it all helps out in the, in the long run you know yeah, yeah. and uh, do you prepare <clears throat> with the band too like do you do like a week of practicing oh yeah touring yeah, or yeah that's very important too so there's yeah. you have to be prepared in everything like, yeah not only musically but even like mentally and then yeah 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 that's cool it's interesting